Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can protect your Google account with the recent outbreak of a security issue with Matt Hoding. Um, when they gained access to his Google account, they can get to his Twitter and iCloud account um, and wipe some of his data off his iPhone and also delete his Google account and uh, basically ruin his entire digital life. I thought to myself, after hearing this, if I too got my Google account hacked, um, it would be um, quite a bad situation. So in this video I'm going to show you how you could basically prevent people from trying to log into your Google account um, and make it a bit more secure than just a password. So if they knew your password they would still struggle to gain access. Um, so basically once you try to log into your Google account it asks you for this password which um, for me I've set by default to use my iPhone. You do the same with Android and Blackberry and Windows Mobile. It's basically an application on your phone which shows a, a special number for a few seconds only um, and it does ch it's a quick number so it doesn't last for very long um, so, and you can also activate it um, to use your call your home phone as a backup or text another phone um, so basically let's go and show you how to set this up so once you've logged into your Google account you need to go into your account settings and go into security and then you want to turn on um, two-step verification by clicking edit and I'm going to log in with this password it basically tells you a little bit about it and how it works and you watch the video to explain more I recommend you do watch that um, so it's going to ask you for a mobile phone I'd recommend you first or a mobile or a number, I mean, should I say mobile phone? I recommend that you use your landline and then use voice call, of course, as this can be obviously it's a lot harder to lose than a mobile. So if you did end up losing your mobile, you can still gain access and then set your, your mobile phone afterwards if you wish to send that message to your phone to activate it. Um, you can also download a bit of paper with a special security code that can only be used once. So if you don't have your phone on your mobile, or you can keep a piece of paper in your wallet like I have, which will let you gain access to your account. Um, but once you basically added it, um, it also makes sure that if you have a user your Google email account on your iPhone, you, you have to log in and authorize special applications which get a one-time password and you can choose and name them so you know which accounts, which devices in your, or using your Google account can access a special password. This is all explained more in the video. If you have any questions guys, leave your comments below in this video. I would definitely recommend that you guys do do this um, so you can um, make sure your Google account is protected. Let's hope more companies start doing this or services like Google have. It'd be nice to see Apple do this, um, but let's see what happens in the future. If you found this video useful, you can typically find us talking tech 24 7, 7 days a week at mdrtech.co.uk slash blog. If you have any questions like this or any questions about technology or anything else, you can ask them questions at mdrtech.co.uk slash answers. You can also follow me on Google Plus and Twitter, links are below. I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time.